Hey everyone, I'm Mike Cavallaro. I'm the author of Nico Bravo and the Hound of Hades and Nico Bravo and the Cellar Dwellers from First Second Books. And today I'm going to show you how I draw some of my characters. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, and uh, let's go. Okay, so I'm working in a program called Clip Studio. It's a very cool program for drawing comics. And what I've done here is I've sped up the video uh, so that uh, you don't have to watch the whole thing in real time. Uh, what I'm going to do is draw all my major characters. That's Vulcan, Lula, Nico, and Buck. And I'm going to start by just blocking in very simple shapes to uh, just sort of figure out where each character is standing and how much space they take up, and, you know, what their pose is. Um, starting with Vulcan here. Um, Vulcan has a very round sort of pear shape. And I'm not worrying about details or doing any kind of perfect drawing. I'm just staying very loose. And Vulcan, you know, he's always working and making things, so I'm going to have him leaning on this giant hammer just to give him like a, a tool that he's holding. I'm going to put Lula next to him. She's a little sphinx who can fly, so she's going to be off the ground a little bit. And then we're going to put in Nico. And then we're going to put in Buck. And you can see it, it's very loose, just shapes. Buck's going to be stepping through this magical portal because he can do that. He's a unicorn. Once I got the placement figured out, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start putting in a little more detail. I'm not going to go crazy with it. You know, I'm just putting in sort of the major identifying shapes, you know, parts of their costume, eyes, nose, mouth, all that stuff. So figure this hammer out a little bit more. You know, they're, they're starting to, you know, Vulcan is starting to look like Vulcan now. And same thing with Lula here. Lula and Nico, uh, you know, you might notice they, they kind of have a very similar head and face. You know, the biggest difference is uh, Nico has a nose and, and Lula doesn't. But it, it does help everything look a little more consistent. All right, there's Nico. And now we move on to Buck. I always start with his eyes. Buck's always a little angry. Kind of an angry unicorn. Like I said, he's going to be stepping through this magical portal. Okay. Once I, I have this sort of blue pencil rough, I'm going to take the opacity down, make a new layer, and grab a pen. Make sure that it's not too thick. I want a, you know, a good line width. And now is the easy part. I'm just basically going to go over what I did, uh, you know, with an inking tool. And I'm not sweating this too much, you know, like, again, I'm still staying very loose. I'm not trying to make perfect ink lines. I really try to keep these drawings kind of fast and light and fun. Put his tattoo in. He wears these uh, work gloves. So I got him leaning on this giant hammer. It's like a huge sledgehammer. Of course, he's, he's always wearing this tool belt, so I try to make some tool shapes just sort of sticking out of the belt. He always wears his Vulcan t-shirt.
very simple lines, very simple shapes. And, and you can see I'm just going over um, everything that I figured out in the rough. Same idea here with Lula. Very simple stuff. And if the lines are kind of like lumpy and shaky, that's fine. I think it's lively and it, it has nice energy to it. You know, it doesn't have to look perfect. So like I was saying, Nico and Lula, kind of the same very similar head shape, similar eyes, similar head. Nico has this spiky kind of hair. And he always wears this knit cap, so I put these sort of uh, knit knitting bumps on it. And I make his hair, I don't fill in his hair entirely, I just kind of make it a little streaky. He always wears his um, supply shop staff hoodie. And there's Nico. You know Buck means business when he, when he puts his bandana on. And he has this broken horn, so it's got a little bit of a, a kink in it. Wears this uh, vest, always wears a vest, kind of a hand solo vest. off with these magic sparklies. And that's pretty much it. You turn the um, turn the rough layer off and you got a clean drawing sign your work. And that's how we do it. So I've been working digitally for the past few years but remember that we were making comics long before we had computers to do them on. You can do everything I just did on paper by doing your rough drawing in pencil very lightly and inking that with a pen or a brush or something and then erasing your pencils carefully. It's the same thing. Don't let not having a fancy computer stop you. So thanks for tuning in. Remember to check out the Nico Bravo series and stay tuned for more First Second Sketch School. Bye.